Welcome to Backyard Smoke. I'm your host, James, and today I'm doing something a little different. I've been meaning to try this for a long time, and I finally got around to doing it. I'm going to smoke us a chub of bologna. This is going to be super easy and super fun, and we're going to do it on our Weber kettle. I've seen a lot of videos people doing on their, on, their, on their pellet grills. Now I was like, man, look, everybody ain't got a pellet grill. I ain't got a pellet grill. So we are going to do it on the Weber kettle, something that the majority of us already have. I'm going to keep it super sweet and super simple. Let's go ahead and stop talking and let's get to cooking. All right, so here we have a six pound tub of bologna that we got from our local grocer, butcher guy around the way. And the first step we're going to do is just score it. So we have our nice steak knives. These are super sharp from the company of Kyoku. I did a review on these knives. And yes, they are steak knives, but I like to use things for other reasons, multi-purpose. First thing we'll do is just start scoring it. Real easy. Not super deep. But deep enough where we can get them. Um, seasonings to penetrate and i am not good at this <laughs> hopefully you're better All right, once you're done scoring it, just going to get a nice binder. I like, for instance, mustard. Um, if you know me, I put mustard as a binder for almost every type of meat, for the most part, especially ribs. Uh, only never take it once or twice. But once we're done with that, get your favorite barbecue rub. I chose the Kinder's uh, barbecue rub. One, I chose it because it was available. Two, I love the color that it gives to my food. And, and considering I was doing a very nice low smoke with some cherry wood, hit it I figured this was going Kinders, to be uh, amazing, and I Beautiful was not color. wrong. So just for a little bit of smoke, we're going to throw in this little bit of cherry wood here. Let's throw it all the way over here. And we're smoking a low. I'm talking about 250, 275. So let me show you guys, bring you around. All right, so you can see we got the smoke going. We're going to run about, like I said, 250, 275 for about three hours. So we're going to come back and check on it once every hour. We're not putting the probe in. This is already cooked. We're just kind of letting the smoke hit too. All right, so we are one hour in. We're going to get our fire up the temp, drop down to 250. We're going to rotate this just so this side gets some smoke. You see? It's really looking good. So here we are in our last, I'll say 30 minutes or so. We're just going to glaze this with our favorite barbecue rub. Today we use Stubbs uh, barbecue, nothing special. We just went ahead and brushed it on really nicely. Uh, let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then we rolled it over to get the bottom part, the part that we couldn't get right here for the remainder of the cook. And that is it. It's a super simple, guys. I mean, just go buy it, uh, score it, put some mustard on it some seasoning on it and let it bathe in some smoke at a nice low and slow temperature
look delicious. Gonna go ahead, take a slice. That looks good. Oh man. So you can see how that smoke's been penetrating right down into here. Can't get no better than that. Get a couple other thin slices off. We'll do dump some thin, some slick, some thick. <laughs> Slim thick. Hear my dogs barking. Oh, this is good. Put this right back on the grill. For later. Oh man. Let's go ahead and make us a quick sandwich. We just got a little something left. You get creative how you want to do it. I got me a little bit of brown mustard here. I'm going to get this nice piece right here. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of lettuce. Some onions. Tomato. Oh, yeah. Smash that down. Cut right into it. Don't want to cut into these. Nice brioche bun. Now let's take a bite. Mmm. Delicious. Definitely taste the smoke flavor. Mm. Now, if you want to take it up another level into a cast iron skillet, I fry it real quick, add even more crisp. Can't go wrong. I'll tell you what, guys. I appreciate you guys coming out, checking out the video. If you like it, send me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Summer time's coming. Spring time's coming. We'll be out here cooking. A lot of cool new stuff. All right. Till next time, y'all be blessed.